I conquered the world as Luxembourg and Hearts of Iron 4 and completely broke the game by making a fascist US break free from a communist US which caused the fascists to declare war on the democratic US and causing two Italian civil wars as well as many other crazy scenarios. This is gonna be a Luxembourg world conquest on historical vanilla. Uh, number one, we have an industry. It's so great we can't even build anything. We can build roads but we are gonna get roads down here. If you do build roads you do save up on 70 days but I I'm not going to because I'm going to go for political effort. I have set up the army and the navy and the air force. Then we can also do tech. I'm gonna get engineering tech. And then uh, let us get one aeroplane tech. And then we can already go. It's not a whole lot to Luxembourg. <laughs> Am I playing Luxembourg? We are going to hire the gamer Edmund Röser. And then we're just gonna do no focus for a little while. Because I want to get political discourse as soon as possible. There we go political discourse. I'm gonna get the light MGs as well. In the meantime, we can get industrial effort. We want to get discredited government as soon as possible, so we get more game support because with, I think it is 25% to 65% you get the event that gamers are rising up. I also think it is worth it to go down armament effort. <laughs> It's just double salary. <gasps> oh god, I forgot what I was signing in MIO. Oh no, we lost like 500 guns. Do need 50 transport planes? I guess I'm gonna build a few more air <laughs> It's so useless. We're playing Luxembourg. There's nothing we can do anyway with our points. Anyway, engines as well. And then we can already build a fighter. And one fun thing I noticed in my airplane guide, I said that you should never ever build the 1933 airplane because the game starts in 1936. You might as well get the 1936 tag. In this case, it actually makes sense because we have two resub slots and we need every single second that we can get before somebody is causing a little bit too much world fire. I thought about getting the armor army of in sky before we get the uh, political workhorse silent workhorse but then i realized we have 4000 men that we can mobilize we can build four of these i don't need army xp for once in my life i don't need army xp free trade is much better than silent workhorse i'm gonna get the workhorse right we have paratroopers we have uh, airplane tech we have everything that we would want <laughs> well there's a few things i would want at this point but we are luxembourg we can't really demand anything <laughs> i like how i got construction tech <laughs> as if this thing is ever gonna be useful this game we haven't gotten an event that is so bad i might have to reload but i think i'm gonna get limited conscription now because then we can start mobilizing some units we're gonna need every single man that we can get we have 300 000 men oh fascists in government yes 10 percent fascism xp up uh, progress Popularity. Right, now I'm gonna bank some PP so we can flip as soon as possible with the national referendum. What? I have never seen this event. Sure, I will join the co-prosperity sphere. Referendum and now we have Friedrich Genergisch. And we are going to start justifying on the Dutch East Indies. Uh, we are a little bit behind schedule. Also gonna fire this guy. We are going to join Germany. And now we need to keep an eye on world fire as well. I am going to design uh, the greatest fighter you have ever seen. We don't really need guns right now, so <laughs> I'm legitimately gonna do this. Sure, let's get a little bit of Dutch stuff. Some of the good Dutch stuff, if you know what I'm talking about. Wait, what are we? Oh, no trade route. <laughs> oh, we can finally build one factory. Right, Glen it is. Please make us strong, bring us glory. Okay, we have to be really careful with this one. Because Germany is doing Anschluss, that's gonna spike world tension by 10%. In order to ensure that we're not gonna run into problems, I'm going to justify on the US. Depending on when the ticks happen, we might get over 25% and then the Allies might guarantee the Dutch East Indies. But the Allies should prefer to guarantee the US over the Dutch East Indies. Militarism, all of this beautiful stuff. We just got another 7% manpower here, which is a lot, considering you don't have any manpower. We don't need to build any more transport planes at this point. Building more transport planes at this point is bad because we don't have manpower. Even now, we can't deploy any planes. Screw you, Churchill, Chamberlain. Who is it right now? Fuck you. That's why you make saves and cheat. Because cheating is based, just as based as fascist. Mm, who could we justify on. Ah, right, that's Switzerland. They have 5 billion points. Sure, let's just try Belgium. Okay, it worked with Belgium. Whew, okay, 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 okay. 
I am going to try the US now. I suppose at this point we don't need more than this. Technically, this is enough to capitulate the Dutch. Come on, you fucker, I know you want it. I know you want to smooch the American cock. Yes! Okay, every single guarantee that they do will be more expensive. Although we still have the French to worry about. Czechoslovakia! That is not that big of a deal. I'm gonna do it for Denmark. Oh, fuck, my, my hair is stuck. That is big. Actually, wait, we can declare war on the Netherlands. They're not guaranteed. They shouldn't join the allies. I will also get the communist guy. As we do need Karl Marx's necromancy. The great Luxembourgian and both packs. I just need a port. I guess I'm gonna rush down to tech sharing. Yeah, fourth research slot. <laughs> rush down to my fourth research slot in 1939. All right, the transport planes are deployed. That is actually scuffed that we need 5,000 men for transport planes. Please. Please just work. This whole endeavor will only work if there's no single division anywhere. All right, my men, bring glory to the Luxembourgian Empire. Oh God, it didn't work. Immediately call Germany in. Also because I don't want these guys to die, any single unit that we lose is so painful on the Luxembourgian army. And Germany got so much war score. Yeah, it's not gonna work. One thing that will work is subscribing after I put toothpaste on my testes. Maybe you're supposed to take different toothpaste. I mean, you're, you're not supposed to do this anyway. I guess we can wait and we can get one more unit. It, it doesn't matter that there's only 19 division, 19 guys in this division. That is a perfectly valid strategy. Okay, look at the might. Tremble before Luxembourg. I'm genuinely going to drop in every tile that we can, even if it's not a VP. If it Beep. gives us just a smidge more war score, it is potentially gonna be enough. This is the part of the video where I tell you it didn't take me 20 minutes to capitulate the Dutch with Germany's help. The best thing I can do here is puppet them in Papua. That should make the rest cheaper. We do have uh, all of the Netherlands and we did get Java. I would like to have Sumatra but I guess I can't really complain. We can build an army now. An actual army, not just Glens. Oh my god, look at our industry. Didn't really plan on getting this far. Let's go. A brilliant strategist. I will definitely definitely take you. We do lose out on pop, but I will gladly take the additional communist partisans recruiting. Oh, true. At this point, we can also do a civil war. We couldn't do this before because Luxembourg only has one state. We need to be ready for around the Maginot. I'm a disgrace of a human being. I'm a legitimate disgrace. There we go. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Chet Van Le Kork. And it took me 10 minutes to realize that I never joined the war. Haha! -ha! French airplanes! But we have landed in Paris. Wow. I guess it worked. Because Germany is gonna create Vichy in a minute, I will give them all of Vichy. That should give us some points in their favor. Wait, 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 wait. We got Belgium! We have 500,000 men for I could reload and we could say, well, this is not a Luxembourg world conquest, but it is. I started as Luxembourg and I did not use any cheats. And we have, wouldn't really say a bunch of the French industry, but we have French industry. I guess we do own Paris. So a lot of Germans coming over here. Why are they up here? What detour are you taking? Ah, you know what? Let's go expert focus. Okay, number one, I think we have to build as many dockyards as we can. This is gonna be a long game. And and I will have to make sure that it's gonna be a fun game. Germany is down to give us 17 divisions. And I can also tell them that they don't have to worry about Russia. They can chill in the great plains of Holland. And there we go, we flipped to communism. A much nicer flag and I did prefer the previous guy with his modifiers. But most importantly, it's time for some black magics. Bombing is actually dealing damage to us. Oh. Our 19 fighters, they will help us. They will win the battle. That's genuinely helping. All right, the first wolf pack unit is here. Now I'm gonna start working on an actual air force. We only have eight planes at this point and I'm not gonna build those into war small airframes. I guess they are doing work. Technically, they are working. Actually, I should have just kept Vichy. That's strange that Germany didn't form Vichy. I guess this is also strange. Communist Luxembourg in the Axis. Who is our lucky admiral? Alfons de Stockheim. Ah, yes. Ah, please don't do naval exercises in the channel. Ooh, Barbarossa is starting. I'm not ready yet. Not even close. Yes, the fighters. They are starting to do work. We need 3.5k light tanks. 
Ah, uh, the fascist bank is always useful. Well, sometimes it is. Oh, there was 150 tanks or something. But sure, I'll take it. I was planning on having a little bit of a chill game, but I guess I still have Mussolini to worry about. Yes, we lost all of the front lines. It's amazing. Half of our units were encircled. I should have just let him die. How is Yugoslavia alive again? They're not even, what? Yugoslavia was not reinstated. They have like these three provinces right now. <laughs> this game is such a mess. It's so stupid that Yugoslavia was just revived. I'm not sure who I'm banking on right now. Like, do I want the Germans to win? Do I want the Soviets to win? The Balkans are a mess. And <laughs> I guess that's just a general statement. <laughs> Japan still thinks that we have fascists in government. I would be worried if we had. Ah, oh, Turkey, no! I did not need that. Especially because Bulgaria doesn't have any units over here. Nobody is defending here. That's just gonna knock out Bulgaria and potentially also Romania. Why does Turkey exist? I don't have the industry for this. I'm gonna pump everything I can into fighters because that is what we need right now. It's happening. D-Day is coming. That's about 10,000 planes on the allied side. Yes. Cannons too. Wait a minute. I can convert these fighters? That does sound like a good deal. 21 million on the uh, common turn allies and 18 million on the axis. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll take it. Because at the end of the day, every man that dies on their side is one less for us to worry about. That was unexpected. It took you this long to debate intervention in the Benelux. I dare say it's high time we do something about this Germany, <laughs> Ruckus and Rosy. I think it genuinely makes more sense to build intel networks in in the UK right now. We're gonna cap the UK before we cap the US and then having the additional compliance with the additional factories and all that, it's just gonna make it much easier. All right, lads, let's do this. Put a snorkel on it. There you go, you can also start refitting, please. And now if we take a look at our production queue, it's absolutely messed up, but that's fine. Ah, yes. The UK is also out of fighters. That means the only fighter supplier that we have to worry about is the US. And with that, we have stabilized the front. Sure, Barbarossa is still going on, but that's something else to worry about. Oh my god, the Soviets also went on China. What is wrong with you, Stalin? I guess also great for me, because that's just gonna grind down China. We might as well add field hospitals already. That's actually very expensive. That is not your portrait. I guess I just hired another guy. So be it. The Soviets have also declared war on Japan. <laughs> Stalin, what is wrong with you? You can ask my therapist. I hear he's been having a lot of fun in Siberia. <laughs> Why is fascist Denmark in the Allies? Let's get the cars here. We can now see if we can push. With the cars we should be able to. It's so simple. All right, we have taken this, which I dare say should allow us to get Italy back. I can probably ask Germany for some French land. Let's try this. Very nice. That didn't quite hit the mark, but fine. I'm just gonna let this auto to push into Italy just so Mussolini can get invaded again. But the main benefit for us is we're gonna get war score and, uh, well, war score. I guess that's our only benefit. So we can get everything except for two states at this point. Ooh, uh, look at the economy. Now uh, the uh, resistance will be a bit of a problem. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Now this number is not really that beautiful. Actually, Poland, getting Poland sounds like a pretty good idea. Jesus! Why does Poland have so many factories? Just give me all of Poland, please. Okay, uh, we have freed Italy. We took a lot of France. Okay, cool. I can still build this in the Dutch East Indies. I wouldn't be sure what I would do otherwise. Fall of Moscow again. <laughs> Let's attack the channel or rather protect it because now it is naval bomber time. I'm going to decimate this British Navy. You're going to rule the bottom of the sea. I don't even have to try. This will work, but I will have to change our plan a little bit. Change it once, change it twice a classic if i do say so myself this is so messed up what the fuck what why is there a question mark bro is using the enigma i might as well do strike force here oh, let's just go balls to walls for a second i want to see if we can it is just that easy all right folks we're landing you know the drill and the peg and the boot cut it up and then you will win also we're gonna immediately get the uk as a collaboration government that's gonna feel very good that's the uk out that wasn't a whole lot of equipment it flipped to the germans great paradox I have compliance up here. It worked in one state. 
Wow, great. I got Northern Ireland as a pretty much core. We could have been building a navy with that. Norway, we are coming. All right. Front, arrow, attack. There we are. I don't have navy XP. Should have checked it. Guess I'm just gonna play like this for a while. But let us get MPs. The first time that I'm getting military police. The last time I got MPs was probably like with 150 hours of playtime. Switzerland, I'm just gonna declare war on and... Actually, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that because we we're gonna lose France. I'd like to see the Irish try to carve on this. This was there the entire time. Don't worry about it. You just didn't see it. Iceland also does have a lot of industry. Wow. Ah, fuck. The ball bearing trade. I forgot about that one. I shouldn't have declared war on Sweden. I'm a mongrel. No, oh, we have taken Greenland. Very nice. Because Greenland will be our base of operations for a while. All oh, right, we're not fascist. That's why justifying takes so long. We can always flip later. That's why I didn't ban gamerism earlier. Because I was certain, ah, if I do it, I might regret it. And look. Lo and behold, I would have. Okay, looking at the American Navy right now, we can just drop in Florida. Let's also decrypt Roosevelt. Uh, I don't do this on purpose. Sorry. I don't think Free Stacks is gonna make it against America. Especially because we also need garrisons. Or I should use garrisons. Ah, oh, this is gonna be painful. Ideally, we can do something encircly here that we might not be able to. Can also demote the East Indies once more. And we have, we have done it. Ooh, very good. Yay. Let's just push on both sides. Probably not a smart idea, but I'm just going to put a black bar over here and then this is gonna be fine. Sorry, Bhutan. The world conquest must continue. I guess that is not what I expected. I feel like I've been here before in Norway, but it just might be me. And now I can use the new hotkey. Uh, did I not enable them? I thought I enabled the mod to nuke. Whatever. I guess I'll have to do manual labor then. You know what? I might as well do this. I do think I'm gonna do one thing here though, which is this. They still have manpower. I am going to change that. How's the Germans over you all looking? Ah. 22 million versus 19 million. Even if Germany takes land, they don't have manpower anymore. They're even giving land away because they can't hold it anymore. And I guess for once, you can call yourself Greater Hungary in the sense of large, not greatness. <laughs> because like, that does not look great. Although it looks like an elk. That's pretty great. Oh, thank you. You are great after all. All right, I'm gonna deploy all of the units from Java. That's 450 units. This should still work. We annex you. I'm gonna dismiss you and there we go. Three million manpower. They're all just joining the African Union. I guess I wouldn't really like to join the allies either. What in the fuck? America, what have you done? Especially how have you done that? That's not cool, America. In regards to not cool, I think this is pretty cool. Getting some naval bombers out. Please give me the compliance that I ordered. For once I want it. Uh, that's not a whole lot of Americans here. You know what, uh, just out of curiosity, are there actually Americans in America? If I had horses or mechanized, uh, this would be over in a jiffy. I guess I'm gonna take a quick piss while this thing autos itself. Then I can go pet Mer- Actually, I can't go pet Merlin. I will have to deal with this for a second. I don't like collaboration governments. They're so bad. Like, you lose so much industry. But if I don't take them, then Germany is gonna get all of it, so... 500 factories gone. Four pieces of artillery! I suppose we can swap back to fascism now. Oh, I fucking dare you. Please don't start a civil war. Stalin, what are you doing here? Third row, eh? I, I actually can see him. Cat butt. TOS, Merlin. TOS. Danke. Slovakia even broke free. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is ridiculous. 0% war support, 0% stability, 0% manpower. Hey, it's great to look at Germany. I don't think I'll be able to use this beauty, but a man can dream. I am gonna support a few local economies at least with this battleship. Considering how many people live in India, that's not a whole lot of defense in India. The war continues. It shall never end. I fucking knew it. Ah. <sighs> Hang on, that's not really a civil war. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I get that I'm making a Luxembourg world conquest, but come the fuck on, what is this? A terrible war with the allies now? <laughs> this game is absolutely rotten. I have to declare war on the unaligned states of America and the confederacy now. At least they're not breaking free, I guess. Paradise was just... Pay me to play this stupid ass bullshit game and make content. Like, why is Canada here? I was having too much fun, you know? I was legitimately having too much fun. And then Mr. Interactive said, nope, we're gonna troll you a little bit. 
One day I want my bugs to be fixed. Although, pff, where would my content be then? Paradox, please never fix bugs. That's just free content for me. Oh god, the Soviets have way too many points. And this is the most important thing. I cannot afford 5 billion nations popping out of Africa. Not because of my PC, but because I have to justify on every single one. That was not fair. I wouldn't even have America right now if I didn't cheat with the collaboration government. We should be able to annex the US freely now. Wait, we, we kept our compliance because the collaboration government was still up, I think. That's pretty good then for once. The game did not shit in my mouth. How great. All right, Germany. I think it's time to join the Luxembourg-Ethiopian war. No, wait. With that, we are at war with the Soviets. We are, whoo, that's a lot of green. Look at the number go up. Line go up. Oh, that reminds me. I have to check on my stocks. I don't know what's wrong with me. If you can tell, please tell me. Come on, Hirohito, it's 1960. Please, just take out China. There's no allies for you to worry about. Sure, the Soviets, but come on, they're starving in Siberia right now. I don't have the decision to flip. I can't flip to... I'm breaking the game on every single conceivable level. I do have a little bit of deja vu, but that also might just be the brain rot. I just realized what could happen up here. There you go, please just hold. I need to keep my compliance in America. Need is relative. As is Turkey, I suppose. That is a line, a front line, yes. All right, I don't think you've ever seen this one before, dear viewer, or viewers, if you're in a watch party for some reason. <laughs> Oh, I swear to fuck if Mongolia is a major. Looks like they are. We actually got 10. We don't really have a lot of points, even though we started all of this war. I guess I'll just take German, uh, the US, I'm sorry. If you release them now, because you don't have enough points. I... Oh, I hate Germany. Wait a minute. <laughs> The Kingdom of Italy declared war on the Repubblica Sociale Italiana. Is this Kingdom of Italy with us in the room? I guess I at least made Mussolini weaker and that's always a win. Japan, please take the rest. The game is making fun of me. Come on, at least give me the event that I can flip to fascism. We're at 70%. This was not supposed to happen. Okay, wait. Uh, no, I think the smartest thing to do right now, disband all units. We are the fascists. Right. I've done this before. This same thing. This exact same thing. I've done it before. Why did we lose all of our compliance on the US's win? <laughs> this is game. And we lost all of our field marshals. Just don't play Hearts of Iron on me. Like, just, just don't play it. If we're quick enough, Germany is not going to join them. Because they don't have units on the border at all. This is so stupid! I can't take the navy that I built. Oh, that's great! All of my planes lost all of the experience they had as well! Now that makes so much fucking sense! I'm going to declare war on Spain, thank you. And then we have very quick justifications on everyone. I just shouldn't have played Hearts of Iron today, you know? In this session of 30 minutes, we already had the US surviving, another Italy popping up, China surviving, losing half of our compliance on every single state that we owned as well as a small civil war franco has already lost 650 million uh, 650 million <laughs> i would go back to sleep ah oh, come on franco just because i put up 90,000 naval bombers you suddenly have to put up fighters oh kingdom of italy you are here now and not the regno del sud that's the fourth italy tag in this game uh spain took america that uh, africa jesus i don't know where america is apparently i'm a moron and i even know how to spell it v i j o why why are Spain and America the African Union? Why did you form the African Union again? <laughs> the African Union is dead. That is certainly a UI. I think I'm the first person that opened this because at work we have the same UI, but this UI is used only for the admin part of our application because that is such a shite UI that you can't even give it to a customer because an admin will be like, okay, it works. I guess I'll use it. But a customer will be like, wait, wait why, why is there no line here? Why, why is this? Why is standard here? A customer is stupid. All right, now we have two of two. Oh, it's right. It's one of two, not... Once again, I am the moron-y. The moron, the moronated. Now, isn't this just relaxing? And the great thing is, I'll have to do this against Germany, and I'll have to do this against Japan, and then I'll also have to do it against China again. Look at this great UI, the African Union. It is South America, the US, and Spain and Portugal, as it should be. Hey, look who's back. And he's no longer a puppet. He doesn't have balance of power anymore. 
I finally fixed Italy. How did Portugal lose 3 million men? I really don't know why Portugal would lose that many men. That was a very quick war against Portugal thus far. Hey, you look, you're looking like Chile right now. I guess Chile is also in the African Union, so you can plagiarize each other. Oh, look at this. That's great. Do you even have convoys? Again, Japan does not have convoys anymore. Exhibition number 17, why Navy is useless. 500,000 deployed manpower without a single division. That's the power of China. The best part about looking for a job as a software engineer is that even six months after you already have a new job, you're still getting mails about jobs that you applied for. It took them six months to review things. Oh, I'm sorry, Japan. I didn't mean to do that. The entire coalition is just from every single port swarming in. Why don't we have a single port, guys? I didn't even get the satisfaction of nuking Japan. Let's do a very simple strategy then you all go back we draw a line we send all the boats back don't forget about gibraltar we could actually release the uk and the us that way we wouldn't have to worry about defending them but i will say it's probably good enough rates down here for the resources we have protection over here and we have protection over here i don't think this was a smart idea i don't think this was a smart idea at all and i'm not saying that because you're bold one equipment has been seized so it was just him on his own the planes are all ready this should be good enough all right come at me bah! <laughs> I think an ace pilot has been promoted. Maybe a couple. Oh my lord, what happened down here? We can probably also extend the front like this. Should be able to hold. Oh, whoo! Mexico fell quickly. We can't get to service by requirement. Let's just do this. Because manpower is getting low. I mean, we can also dismiss like 5 billion planes. How does Germany have 7 million manpower on extensive conscription? Surely they don't, they don't have that much compliance on China. That matters not. Soon your fighters will be gone. Oh, he stopped putting his boats here. Look what they're doing to my compliance! That's what I get for pushing. More than 0% surrender progress. I could let them march into Friesland. But I want to make it interesting. Thing. Out of curiosity, they are demobilizing right now. Mussolini, I know you're a moron, but come on. But hey, if you want to make some joint maneuvers with my navy, feel free to go to the Iberian coast. It's gonna be a very fun time that you'll have there. We don't have any superiority over Germany, but oh, the hotkey works. Oh, you're gonna feel the pain and suffering you've caused me. Every single brain cell. It's called sweet revenge. I just wanna speed this demobilization process up a little bit that Germany is going for right now. The entire army should be disbanded in a minute. Feel free to stack even more units on the front. I don't mind. And another million dead. It's down to 1.6 million. I'm just gonna do this a few more times on the front and then we can just rush through Germany. It's almost not even worth to nuke Mussolini anymore. What about you? 600k? How about no? We're getting dangerously close on losing our nuclear stockpile though. This should also transition into uh, this getting lower and lower. That is not the right direction. It's just nothing in those divisions. So a push should be very simple. Can't have fun in this game, can I? Should have expected it. The good old Alps being as cringe as ever. Oh! For now, that's a lot of manpower, but we also might have to just garrison all of this. I'm gonna go for a swift strike against the Balkans and Italy, and then... Uh, yep, that's it. <laughs> the manpower is in garrisons. Let's just clean up Italy. Just don't look at resistance, and don't look over China. We also need to put up a garrison order here, in Kiel. Oh, the fact that Germany owns so much of the world is it's just complicating things way too much. All right, that's Italy dealt with. Honestly, I'm fine. They're gonna take all of Asia, but that's okay, because then I don't have to garrison it. Silver lining, I fucked the silver lining, as a great poet once said. That's me, I said it, just now. <laughs> Railway guns for everyone. Choo-choo! All of our divisions are getting drained. Capitulating Germany was a grave mistake. Beginner's mistake, really. I have to actually micro here a little bit, get some encirclements going, because otherwise the manpower problem will be a real problem. I feel like I've been in Norway way too many times this game as well. Please give me Budapest, that's just free. It's just a very good supply up in the region. All right, we also have to pin here. I guess we don't have to pin here, but I would prefer it if we did. There we go. Took out Romania. Very simple. Just walk around them. Next goal, Bulgaria. That should also be very simple. Bulgaria usually doesn't have a lot of resistance in them. It's Bulgaria. Let's prepare 
Leseübung. The Germans are just snaking around. Yeah, true. They are blind, so makes sense that they are in Moscow. Resistance? I did it again. The same fucking thing. <laughs> Didn't drop on a port. Please. Okay, I'm gonna right click then. You have to hurry before a single Axis member comes here. You are now a horse. Right, Tesco. To victory. 50,000 points. Shit. I never realized the world conquest is so expensive. I'm also going to do the only sensible thing because we just got a bunch of ships. How about we convert that into a little bit of manpower? Just a little bit and it's gone. And then I'm gonna set up some fronts here and then we draw two arrows, one here, one here. We draw another weird arrow into Macau just because of the brain damage I got from that achievement as well. I don't think you've ever seen this tactic before, but uh, well, Welcome to World Conquests, or rather Late Game Hearts of Iron. Another 300k that was just lost. We can also disband these guys. I just have a black hole somewhere. That deficit should be nullified in a minute. In no time even. Just 700 light tanks a day. I guess we can also sink those two fleets. Another 400,000 manpower for the black hole. I think we fixed our deficit. Yes, we have manpower. It only took deleting pretty much our entire navy, our entire air force and a part of our army. I have enough points to annex everything. And that's it. Okay, it's been like five minutes after shock is kicking in. <laughs> That's interesting though. That is so. Uh, ha! Ah! I think I'm just not allowed to move anymore. And if you enjoyed this video, I can offer you the game where I played Anarchist Spain and I caught the entire world. And it took me like 28 hours or something. I don't remember. I, I re repressed memories.